All right. So if you're like me, you probably may have just broken uh, the connector on your vacuum brush. You know, it's perfectly good shape, you know, and they break. And here's the uh, other end right here. As you can see, it's intact, no problem. And it's broken, so you can't use it anymore. What I'm going to think, I'm going to try. I just had a, an epiphany here. I've got my vacuum hose here. And you know what? It actually... Here's my... I said it's just an old chlorine bottle right here, right? Just an old chlorine bottle. Well, guess what? This fits on there. Actually, kind of snug. Fits really good, actually. So, I'm going to tape this up real good. And I'm, I'm going to cut the bottom off of it right here. All along that line. So it's going to have a big wide mouth on the uh, pool side, or on the, on the bottom side, and on the top side, we're going to have suction right here. So um, I'm going to try that. I'm going to tape up the connection right here, make sure it's nice and tight, and see how it goes. I'm going to tape it to my uh, my pole, poles over there, but uh, see how it goes. Okay, so there it is attached to the uh, pole. As you can see, I've got the vacuum hose hooked up to it. Um, it's just taped up on the end, that's it, nothing, nothing major. And it's uh, below water right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug the head in. Hopefully it doesn't suck any air. I'm going to plug the vacuum hose in over here. And I, I did fill it up once already. It's completely empty now. I'm going to go ahead and start suction here. And let's see if I can film it sucking up. Here's like a a leaf right here. Suck that one up. Suck that leaf up. So I'm gonna see if I can go down to the bottom here. Not sure if you can see down there. I've got polarized glasses on, so I can't see the uh, camera right now. I can feel the suction on there. If you can look at the vacuum hose, you'll see that it starts sucking up debris. Like I said, I don't know if you can see the hose down in the bottom, but I'm kind of using a plunging action to it. And, you know, it doesn't replace a brush, but if you just got leaves in your pool, it'll certainly help with that. Get you going at least. And it's not sucking up everything. It's just sucking up the easy stuff. You still need a brush. But it gets you a head start. And then if you can see this pile over here, it's a pretty good pile of junk right down here. And see if I can maneuver it down there. Again, I'm just using a plunging action. And I can see debris going up, going through the tube. A good amount too. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. So all I did was take that chlorine bottle, cut the big end off so it's wide open like a big mouth. And then I tape my vacuum hose to the small end where the cap normally goes. And that's all I did. Um, I've got that broken. Oh, there it goes. It's getting suction. It sucks some air or something. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can. And then we're going to go right to the skimmer basket and see what it's sucking up. I'm just going along the edge here trying to suck up what I can. All right, let's see. I can hear the pump in the pump house, the pool house kind of struggling now. So it's it's sucking, uh, it's a dead heading, I think. Hold on one second. All right, so now I got the hose off. I disconnected it. We're just sucking air right now. And let's see what we got down here. Voila. Oh my god. I can't even pull it out. There's so much stuff in there. There it goes. Look how much it sucked up. It sucked up all that. Now well, that's pretty good, I think. Considering just a homemade, put together, thrown together vacuum hose. See? Alright, man. Hope that helps you if you uh, end up in the same situation I did. <laughs> Bye.